Hello. The game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a dreadful rack. Way too many vowels. And I'll probably be changing. They're also all one-pointers, so I'm going to struggle to score very much. However, I do have an S and an E. So if I get rid of the I's and O's, it's a pretty good two-letter keep. Now I just need to hope that my opponent doesn't start with a bingo and establish an unassailable lead. I can't think of any floater which would mean that playing was better than changing, but I will consider what my opponent plays. Great, just just 16 points. So, well, I guess a play of Louis possibly might have been better than changing. However, I am going to change. And that's not really good at all, only one vowel. I do have the J as a scoring tile, but that benefits from vowels. And my opponent could well obscure both of the ones currently on the board. This is also a bad rack because even setting aside what's available on the board, there's very little available from within the rack. However, I don't think I will be changing again. I think there's probably enough value to be got somehow from this rack, even if it involves using the S. A play of jab in column 10 would leave a fairly decent five-letter set. Wow, nice bingo by my opponent. I'm going to challenge that in case it's not good, but I think it is. It's fine. So, a ton of floaters to choose from. What's best? So, I can play Jean in row B for 27. What about playing the B and the J? So, I have Benj on my rack. And I can play that here, retaining... Retaining my E. So this is a pretty good four-letter set. 29 points is a decent score. And I don't think there's a whole lot more on offer. Unless I have a double-double. Something like rebends. But that would only be 40 points. And it would be burning the S. So I think this is fine. Great. I have girders and ridges. Def doesn't take an S, so I may not be able to play a 7. But there's quite a few floaters. So I'm hopeful of getting getting A bingo down. I'm wondering about bridges in row A. May be good, may not be. I'm wondering if there's an anagram of Bridger. Because I think either Bridger is good or its anagram is. Anyway, let me consider alternatives first. Do I have anything through the A of Balloted or Ballade? It looks like there should be something there. Pretty promising letters but I can't see anything. Girdlers is good so I have that in rows C and D. Row D preferable because it gets doubled and I'm inclined to play that rather than bridges since I have the doubt about bridges. Now what about row E? Do I have a double double through the E? Well, not that I can see. That pretty much wraps up the floaters. There is the F of death, but I don't think fridges is good. It's annoying I'm not more certain of bridges.
But I'm not. My opponent taking a while. If she bingos again, I'll be a long way behind. I do know my opponent. She has represented Trinidad and Tobago at the World Championships on a number of occasions. Now, my good girdler's spot has been taken. So it's now a choice between the weak non-doubled one and the tripled bridges. Still nowhere for girders. I'm going to try bridges. 92. Why isn't this playing? Okay, it is now. Well, if bridges stays on, I've got a pretty good rack. I have Rifampin down from the R of Bridges. Just waiting for this to be challenged. So annoying if it comes off. When Girdlers was definitely available. However, if it stays on, I'm just 10 points behind. So, do I have an alternative to Rifampin? Not a great set of letters, F, M, and P together. Not particularly fabulous. I've got the mini prefix with F, P, blank. Can't see anything there. Just looking around in case Rafampin went elsewhere. It's available through an R or an A, and there are a couple of A's available. The column 14 is the only available spot. Although my bingo may be blocked, this is a pretty good rack for scoring off. My preference is for getting rid of the F. Great. I can play my bingo. For 90 points. And I have drawn quite well. Great. Opponent challenges, loses 5 points. I've now got a 40 point lead. And my rack looks close to a bingo. Through an H, I would have Thyauria. Do I have anything through the L of Ballade? Well, not that anything's coming to me. Only one point is on my rack, so I'm going to struggle to score. So I'm looking at the scoring tiles on the board. So the J is, is possibly available. Now, a couple of ways of sorting this rack out from the rack itself would be a play of UOI, keeping ART. That's pretty good. And also something like Auri or Towery. Yep, all those are good. 36 points. Nice score for my opponent. So where can I play Uoi? It nearly plays in column 13, just failing at the last. I'm not sure it plays anywhere. I could play Louis for six points, which is pretty lame. So what about Auri? Well, Ono is good. But then that stops one square short of the double word square, so not great. 17 minutes on my clock. A play of just OU would leave a fairly good five letter set. So I could play OU under DG of Bridges. UO would work. Beside the M and P of Rafampin, but that's not a good word. What about something down from JA? Well, I can't see anything. So this is what I'm thinking of. Only eight points, but a fairly good five letter rack leave. 
especially with the floating L. But it's annoying with such a slender lead to only score eight points. However, this five letter rack leave is worth quite a lot. Oh, well, I can improve on this. I can play UFO, and that stops my opponent scoring off the F, and that's 12 points. 50% more. Okay, I'm going with this. Pretty good. I may not have a bingo, but I do have the X, which is a good scoring tile. Extricate onto TE. Can't see any other eight letter bingos. Well, that's a nine, but I can't see any eights at all. So, where can my X play? Caked has really blocked up the top left of the board. In fact, the whole of the left side of the board is pretty choked. So, UFO is looking a little bit better as a play. It stops my player opponent scoring off one of the few scoring spots on the board, a, a two or three letter play in column 13. And not providing any openings might have been a good option for my opponent, which has now been denied. Now, I may I may be able to get my X on this ah, spot where my opponent has played. Nothing goes in front of Q, my eye can go after it. So I could play Taxi, and that looks pretty good. Over 30 points. I could also place my A in front of Qua, so I could play AX, keeping Cyter. For 22. And Taxi provides an easy scoring spot for my opponent. But if I play Axe, then there's an easy five-letter spot for words ending above Axe. So, what haven't I considered? I no longer have my O for going in front of No. What about a play in row I? My R can go after J-A. I'm looking to try and get my X doubled, but I can't see a four-letter play beginning with R. So maybe Taxi is best for these reasons. It scores well. Rack leaves good. If my opponent does play in row D, then she will be opening up column one, and I've got a pretty good three-letter set for for doing something with that. I am behind. So I've no advantage in keeping the board tight, and this does open up the, the left-hand side of the board. Although the right-hand side of the board is, is fairly choked. However, my opponent, I don't think, can really score and, and choke the board, because if she plays in column 4 or row D, then both of those options are opening the top left triple word square. So I have a 20-point lead. Can't see a seven-letter bingo with this rack. I have Fetcher and Fector in column 11 for about 28 points, but they're both very wide-open moves, providing lots of floaters, so unlikely to be optimal. Both F's gone, and I mention that because of the I above the triple letter square. I don't think there are any premium tiles which can go there. A D is probably the best. So not a not a great rack here. They do there is some synergy in the C and the H. But not many spots on this board to be able to play. If my opponent doesn't play in the top left, I've got chat. That is a very unbalanced rack leave with three E's and an R. Okay, so 26 points for my opponent. 
hasn't opened up the triples, the triple word squares. So row B is available. I can't see a bingo beginning with the G. I'm six points behind. So I'm in touch. Just wondering how I can maximise my score in row B. So a play of REH. 24 points, which is OK. Slightly dangerous, row A, except I have the C for going in front of Hor. However, S and T also go there. So my opponent could get a 50-point play in row A, which would be annoying. So why don't I block that? So this is 24. I'll not block it, but just not allow it, not provide the opportunity. This is three more points and provides pretty much nothing. Only three letter plays in column one. Yeah, I'm going with this. Great, I draw the second blank, and that is a fabulous rack. I've got Eater Erio on the rack. Can't see anywhere for that. Uh, my opponent has played a three out of play for just 24 points, so I'm only three points behind, but I'm sitting with a pretty good rack. I have Roseate in column 13, and I'm inclined to play it. Because what could be better? Not very much. Certainly nothing beginning with the G. Yeah, I think this is likely to be best. So I'm going to save time by playing it. And R Rosie 8 takes nothing after it, I don't think. And this is a pretty good pickup. I have Epilogue onto, the, onto either E. Of Rosier. They could both be taken out with a vertical play in column 12. But my opponent is now 60 points behind. So may may not make such a, a vertical play. I don't have a ton of options because the board isn't really providing many options. I think if I can get Epilogue down, that will probably seal the game for me. I'm just looking around for spots for my P. Well, I suppose Jap is available. Although I can't see a great play utilising that. So, what else could I play? No Bs to come. UFO takes a B in front. Great! My One of my epilogue, epilogue spots remains available. So, epilogue for 65. And I draw the Z, which is good. No bingo on this rack. But it's good to have the Z with some vowels, albeit one of them, the U, which isn't enormously helpful. Although I would have Olsey through an I. The I of epilogue not in quite the right spot for maximising that play with three S's to come. Such a tight board. Well, all of the action's going to be around epilogue or a bingo hooking J. Just nothing really on offer in the top half of the board. So I'm looking around for spots for my Z. Zeta is good, but then I've, uh, I can't do anything more than that. Woots is good. Woot takes a Z at the end. I can't use that. 
my E can't go in front of the W, so my penance play hasn't opened up anything for me. 11 minutes on my clock, so I've got a ton of time. So, where can my Z play? Can I get it after the O of epilogue? I don't think so. I don't have to play it this turn. So annoying I don't have a vowel for going in front of the W. So what to play? I'm, I think a play in row K would be good because it would obstruct a seven letter play ending in S. I don't have to play the Z this, this turn. So I've got over. Let me see what this looks like. I know the score's dreadful. Only 14 points. It kills row J. Dumps the U and V. Keeps a couple of vowels with the Z. Provides nothing for my opponent. So it's got everything going for it apart from score. Have I overlooked a better spot? One thing I could do would be to just play VOE. And what would be good about that is that it takes an E in front and I'm the only one. Or I've got the, the last two remaining E's. However, my opponent could play in row K. So that may not be a terribly useful hook to have. So there is merit in Ulva. I, I think there's a lot of merit with only two E's. I'm not going to get more. So I'm going with this. And look look at the score. I'm 100 points ahead. So my opponent really did need to bingo. So shutting down row J was a priority. Now onto an E I would have Eternize. But there are no more E's to be played. I can't see a seven with this rack. Can't see anything down from the G of Gore. Tenderize through the right two tiles. Well, this, this game is looking pretty one. So I can't see very much I can do with this rack. But that doesn't really matter. And I still don't have a vowel for going in front of the W, and nor do I have a vertical play onto it. So Woot has really opened up nothing at all. Now, do I have something in column 8? Reaching the triple and using the Z. Can't see anything. I've got entire. Keeping the Z. But I'd quite like to get rid of that. Well, my penance played in that spot. Can't see, can't see a bingo through the N. Nerts is good, so I could play that in row O. And that has the advantage of stopping my opponent bingoing in row O. The remaining tiles don't look that promising, but it's possible there is a bingo through the N. I'm going to win anyway, I think. 24 points. I'll have five tiles. Yeah, I think this works out quite well. I was just thinking about playing maybe... Zin. Actually, do I have Netty Zen? Let me put this back. I think I do. Let me see what this scores. 38 points. I'm likely to go out whatever my opponent plays. 38 points is going to put me 466, 120. So my opponent may bingo. If she does, I still win. If she doesn't bingo, then 
I win with a higher margin than I would have done had I played Nerds. Ooh. Well, my rack's horrible, but so is my opponent. She's sitting there with three S's and a duplicate eye. I don't think she has a bingo through N or E. But what's particularly annoying is that I was expecting to be able to go out regardless of what I drew, and that's, I don't think, is going to be the case. It's nice to end the game easily without having to do a lot of thinking, but that's not going to be the case here. I need to avoid being stuck with the V. So I've got Rev through the E of Netizen. Is there an alternative spot for my V? I have won the game. But I, but I have a tricky final rack to deal with. That doesn't mean that Netizen was a bad play. It just hasn't worked out well on this occasion. If I'd played Nerds for 14 fewer points, I would have IERV, so I would have Giver in column two, and probably an, an out elsewhere. Five minutes on my opponent's clock, seven on mine. Vera is good through E blank blank A, but I've been scanning the board for spots like that and I can't see any. So more importantly, I I haven't got a second V spot. What that means is my opponent could play out one tile at a time. Well, she hasn't gone down that route. So I can play Rev. I don't think there's anywhere else for my V. Seven minutes on my clock. Just looking around now, my opponent has played to see if there is anywhere else for the V. Can't see anywhere, so I'm going with this. Opponent has DIS, which is good, so she certainly has a number of outs. Just waiting for my opponent to make her final move. And I'm also still scanning the board for V-spots. Anyway, my opponent plays all those a good pass to end the game. Thank my opponent. And the final score, 392 to my opponent, 473 to me, a winning margin of 81 points, so a good win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, look at that. Invalid words played. Bridges. Fantastic. Got away with a phony. So this was my opponent's opening rack. She played death. I changed and I think changing is better than all of these. My opponent's rack, she plays balloted. Now I have Benj in row G, that looks fine. Opponent plays Kate, and Girdlers was the only bingo, so Bridge is not good, one to remember. Opponent plays Hate, and now I have Rifampin. What I didn't see was Flimping through the L, okay, that's quite nice. Opponent plays Mano. EAU, I didn't consider that. C13. Yeah, that would have been nice. 24 points. Yeah. 
definitely nicer than you, Faith, for 12. So a 12-point gap. My rack league, I think, is better than Riot, but it's not 12 points better. Opponent plays Qua, and I have Taxi. That looks fine. Opponent plays Gore. Now, I mentioned these two plays, but I didn't like them. They were too open. Share is only three fewer points, and I think the rack leave is better. Opponent plays Icy, and now I have Rosie 8 for 71. I didn't think I was likely to find a better bingo, so I played it quite quickly, but there were alternatives. Horrible rack for my opponent with three O's. And now I have Epilogue, which sealed the win. So I'm 100 points ahead, 13 tiles in the bag, and my opponent's got a grim rack. Perfect. So, opponent plays Woot. Knees, I didn't see that. J11. Oh, wow, beginning underneath FE. Knees, very nice, 42 points. Probably the play. What did I do? Ah, yeah, and Knees would have... Achieved the same objective of stopping my bing opponent bingoing in row J. So certainly a much better play than Ulva. Opponent plays Notion. And now I have Netizen at J2. I was seduced by the points. It didn't work out on this occasion. Now my opponent doesn't have a bingo. She plays Cyst. And finally, just looking down here. Yep, yeah, Rev was the only the play and my opponent goes out with dis at n10 for 20 so a pretty exciting game quite a tight board and we were very close on score and then it exploded into life with rosie 8 and epilogue which saw me sweeping to victory so i hope you enjoyed watching that and i will see you next time